this is Ayanna Sky with OHP TV, and I'm here introducing Miss Courtney Nicole. How are you? I'm great. I saw you working your stuff on the fashion show tonight. Baby, I tried, but you, we worked our thing tonight, I think. That was the case. Well, right? well, thank you so much. So what styles did you wear tonight? Um, I did Plush by Miss Wendy. Mm -hmm. um, I am Crochet by Miss Ebony. Bougie. That was my uh, third that, one. That, mm -hmm. that was her kind of attitude? No, not bougie at all, but you know, the clothes. You you looked great. You rocked it, and you have you have a very beautiful face. So is this what you do? Is this like what your only thing that you do? This isn't my number one. This is probably like my number three. But I prefer acting. Um, you definitely can see me um, on Comcast on demand. Our season two starts uh, Monday, actually. Okay. Um, Comcast on demand. Go to Get Local Top Picks, and you'll see Money, Power, and Respect. I play Susan Donovan. I grace the screen with uh, your co-host, Mr. Dice. So um, okay. that's something hot and um, plays, shows. Essence Film Festival. She did a skit. Absolutely. We got in on that with uh, yes, Tommy, with nephew Tommy um, the other day. So they'll be uh, showing that as part of his comedy and um, he's hosting the Essence Film Festival. So check that out if you're down there. I wish I could go this year, but I'll be working. So well, the, Hey, that's good. We're all getting it in. Mm -hmm. But you did your thing on the runway and we'll probably, we will be seeing her face again. What's up? This is your girl, Talisa J. Harris. I'm here right now with Artemius Highlands. He's one of the event planners that helped put this show together. So I'm going to let Artemius tell you a little bit about himself and let him tell you a little about what he did with the show. Hello everyone. Um, I'm Artemis. I am the event planner. I just helped just basically just it was very easy. We had a beautiful um, crew to work with and it was effortless as far as um, creations and vendors and sponsorship packages. It was just effortless. Well, once again, you guys, this is Artemis. If you want to get a hope to Artemis and let him plan your next event, you should go to? You should go to Artemis Event Planning Firm dot info. A-R-T-I-M-I-U-S Event Planning Firm dot info or you can look me up on Facebook my name is Artemis Hollins what's up with that this your girl Talisa J Harris holding it down deuces now look this is not the first and this is not gonna be the last time you're gonna see your boy beside a beautiful lady but this is the relevance she was also on the runway doing her fizzle and might I say she was doing it quite well say it for me Joni say it again Joni how you doing today I'm doing wonderful. Did you enjoy yourself out there? You look like you did. I did. I always get a rush being on the do runway. You? Yes, I do. What do you like most about modeling? Just, just getting, you know, up there strutting your stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, see, let these people understand that beauty is not the only part of modeling. There's an art that got to go to it. You got to go to practices. You got to get these steps down. You got to get the walk down. It's not as easy as it looks, is it? No, it, it is not. And, mm -hmm. and it's also a natural swagger that you definitely have to have. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and, and beauty don't hurt, y'all. I mean, if, if y'all don't fit the part, don't even no, let your that's friends tell not you. That's true. Okay, tell me. If you are confident. You confident? Can, yes, you can convince other people that you're beautiful, even though you may be a little challenged. Uh -huh. It's all from within. See, I, see, that's what I'm finding out from this cast, the humbleness and just that, that, re, that response to what I just said. <laughs> I mean, you, you're teaching me something here. I didn't know. You would imagine that when someone say model, that they're going to associate that with not so challenged people. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like but that. as you pointed out, it's attitude, right? It is, it is attitude. It's confidence and, you know, beauty that comes from within. Mm -hmm. It's a, you know... That's where the swagger comes in, because if you think you look good, that you'll definitely convince other people that you do. You know, once you have called yourself, once you have titled yourself model, mm -hmm. you can't never relax. You, you can't just be tired. You can't just, you know, it's always somebody that's going to approach you. Somebody's going to always want to take your picture. You yeah. go through a lot of that? Um, yes, I do, but... I'm one of those people that I'm I'm not always on the A game. Oh. You know, I, I enjoy coming out the house with the sweatpants on. Okay. And you know. See if you're a true model, mm -hmm. you can have on a paper bag and people will be like, oh, I agree with I that. I like that. I agree with so, that. 
yeah, I, I, I definitely don't always, you know, dress head to toe, make sure I, uh-huh. I'm, yeah, kind of just <laughs> make well, it work for myself. I learned a lot this <laughs> evening about modeling. I you know I took a try at it. I got some great feedback, but I do have a newfound respect for you models. Okay. It is it's definitely an art. It's definitely something that you have to work at, and you have to be dedicated to. Yes. I thank you so much for coming to HPTV. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. All right. An event this big is almost impossible without our volunteers. Hi. Much love. How you doing today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So what would what would make a person say, I'm going to help you with that? Okay. Well, when they look like, you know, they, they, they need help. Have you ever seen a person that just kind of looking like, okay, where do I go? What do I do? Mm-hmm. Or uh-huh. even if they're looking at a product, they're looking with interest. Yeah. And so they're like, hmm, hmm. So... I'll go and say, well, may I help you? Mm -hmm. How can I help you? And we'll go from there. That's what makes me, it's interest. That's that's beautiful, right there. It's interest, yeah. Well, yeah, with so much going on, ladies and gentlemen, I could not do the behind the scenes because I was... But if y'all could have seen what's going on back here, it would have been impossible without volunteers helping. Huh? Oh, what you got? What you got over there? The big brown t-shirt. Look, this is a movement, y'all. This is a movement. Big... Bone women. Beautiful women. Y'all hear what I just said? Now look, let me explain something to y'all. It's not my fault that I just so happen to be around attractive people. It's just the way it worked out. I didn't just say I'm only going to work with attractive people. It just keeps working out that way. Now we got volunteers here. They look like models too. What's up with that? This thing right here, this is very, very big. It was at the Marriott Hotel in Marietta. And I mean, it's, it's very classy in here. Very classy. Mm-hmm. Timeless. Yes. Been around for a long time. Yeah. So you know. And with an event such as this, mm-hmm. this is going to become timeless. Absolutely. Legacy. Absolutely. That's how it is. On behalf of OHP TV and on behalf of Yolanda Zealous, let me just say thank you for the help thank that you, you and your so people much. put in. That's thank big, and, and from the bottom of my heart, I mean that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, y'all? It's your boy DJ Doc Dice My man, Al G. Shala. What's popping with it, boy? Man, right here. No, nah, you the man. You the man right here. Look, man. How in the world did you? I mean, every time I turn around, I'm like, okay. Let's get it in. Let's do work. Let's do work. I call this man. He answered the phone. I go around the corner. Bam! There you go. He was already here. You were there already here, man, doing your thing. I'm trying to get like you, man. For what? You do you so I'm smooth. To get like the doctor right here, man. No, man. Al, man, let me tell you something about Al. This man right now, can I tell him about what, you, what you're doing right now? Go right ahead. You got it, doctor. My man is right, has written a movie, has cast it for the movie, and is going to direct the movie. That's correct. Tomorrow, June 7th, we are filming our very first scene for The Fate of Love, uh-huh. an Al G.C. La film. Tomorrow, we're going to film it. We're starting. We're going to kick it off. Yeah. We're starting filming before we even do the table read. How about that? Now, I just got to do stuff different. You know what I'm saying? Catch it this fall, coming your way. Uh-huh. We're going. He knows about the premiere. Yeah. It's going down. Yeah. Your boy's in the movie. Oh, he, I'm he, in there. He's trying to be humble. I'm in there. Well, well, he's, you know. he's in the movie. He plays a villain. You're going to hate him at the end of the movie because of the things he do. <laughs> but uh, we all know that this is the man right here. Uh-huh. You the man of the mans, man. Let me let me tell me something, man. Are you in the movie? Are you making any cameos? You know what? You know what? You gotta make a cameo. A man. Now, the thing about it, the main character is a character named Mark, uh-huh. you know, and I was kind of I, I wanted to play the character because I knew exactly how he would be. Uh-huh. But I didn't want I wanted to be more on the production side, you okay. know, kinda uh, you know, control everything right. and good thing a, a good friend, a good not a good friend, but a, a, a good actor came, uh-huh. Mr. Wardell Richardson. Uh-huh. He's gonna play Mark, so it gives me a chance to do my job, yeah. do my work and whatnot. Mr. Wardell Richardson, he's playing Mark. I may do I may do a little cameo or whatever. Uh-huh. Uh not known, you know, kinda low key, you know, probably Walk, walk across the stage, walk across the film, whatever. Oh, you're gonna, but, uh, okay. you, the spotlight's on you, man. Oh, you're doing man. your thing. Man, look, I'll put it to you like this, man. I just have to be everywhere that's going to help the career build because I'm not just building OHP TV for me. I have an 11-year-old daughter that 
she's getting educated right now, she's gonna go to college and she's gonna come out and run the company one day. So I gotta do it with pizzazz, I gotta do it classy and I gotta make sure that I touch all of the bases and corner of the market.